Oh, damn it. Please don't be the third brake light. Damn it. So, hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of AMZ's Corner. So, uh, yeah, I got a little problem with the uh, 95 rear brake lights today. If my uh, lovely assistant could step on the pedal, as you can see, my two lower brake lights come on fine, but the LED third brake light does not come on anymore. So, uh, yeah, a lot of these LED lights are pretty darn expensive. Uh, three, four, five hundred dollars for some of the later model ones. Uh, I'm not even sure what this one costs in the Saab. I didn't even look it up. I just know uh, to buy an LED third brake light from a now discontinued car manufacturer could probably be a, a lesson in expensive light bulbs. So uh, I think I got a workaround. So why don't I pull this light out of the car? It bolts from underneath easy enough. And uh, let's see if I can. Uh, Make some LED lights work. Well, guys, uh, what I found that I want to try to fix this with, and if it works, it's going to be a really neat thing to help other people out, is uh, at Walmart, I found these little uh, light-up LED flex lights. They run on 12 volts. There's actually a little 12-volt battery inside of there that lets you uh, try them out in the store. Ooh, buy them. But uh, another neat thing about these is if you look, little scissor marks. You can focus on it. And uh, you can cut them to fit. So I think these would be a great fix for a blown out third brake light with how hard they can be to find, how expensive they can be. The trouble is, and a concern I have is, I'm not sure if that LED strip has some sort of uh, voltage regulator in line to it or that's in it itself. Um, so one thing I'm going to check first, to pull this panel off, is I want to make sure we have 12 volts back here to the connector. So I got my trusty multimeter. Uh, set this up so we can see what's going on. I don't want to drop it. You should stay right there. I've got the uh, off, off camera. You can't see. I've got the brake lights held on with a couple of extensions, so I should have power back here. If I have 12 volts, then we're good to go. Eleven seventy-five, and that's about what the battery's putting out right now with uh, some of the lights and the ignition on and all that. But uh. Yeah, there's battery voltage. If my lovely assistant could pull the uh, could pull the brake holder off, and there we go, zero volts. So 12 volts when you step on the brake, zero volts when the brake's off. So let's uh, pull this out of here. And there we have the actual fixture itself. Uh, the LED strip is actually under this black cover. So why don't we relocate to my toolbox and uh, do a little surgery here, shall we? All right, we got this fixture out on the table here. Let's uh, get these screws out of here and see what we're dealing with. Now already I can see a couple of these screws are rusty. You see, uh, that one there, this one here is a uh, rustiness on it, and it's those go through on these, the actual LED strip here. Um, taking a quick look, yeah, you see right there where, uh, well, focus for me, you see right there where the screw went through, it kind of rusted out the, uh, the bridges there. I'd say that one right there is probably what failed and caused this light to fail. So, yeah, you know, a little bit of moisture gets in there and, and takes out this strip. It's like I was saying, some of these strips can be pretty expensive. Now, normally you would use, you know, a 921 bulb in a third brake light. I mean, what are these, a dollar? And then that's kind of expensive. Or a, a 194, like here. You know, but instead of using nice, easy to replace, inexpensive light bulbs, we got to use a big strip that doesn't like water apparently and uh, I'm gonna guess that a lot of these are failing right now I bet you there are a lot of other 2001 95s that use these that are probably suffering the same fate so you know they don't last forever and that's where these handy little strip lights come in so why don't we uh, move this aside and let's see what we get in the package here
so it would be our little battery here, 12 volt battery, little connector. Let's set that aside, and there are our there are our LED strips. Let me just uh, looks like they give you a lot of extra wiring. And it comes with two. Uh, I picked these up. They were $17 for two, which I think is a screaming deal considering how much an LED strip costs to replace on some of these. And yeah, nice and bright. Now, one thing I want to add is uh, these aren't DOT approved, whereas these light bulbs, you know, will, will be DOT approved to be used in, in a certain fixture. So technically, these won't be the legalest thing to put in, but I'd rather have, you know, an illegal third brake light light up than no third brake light at all. So I think what I'm going to do is we're just going to cut the wires on these and then cut to fit. And there's a little, a little longer, but uh, I don't think that's going to matter. I don't think that's going to matter because, like I said before, I'll focus up. They've got the little scissor mark, and you cut them right on that mark, and then these stick on. So maybe what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll just stick these on this back piece. Probably just feed them in there like that, stick them on. Maybe eliminate this middle screw hole. I mean, I'll just cut that piece right there out so these sit nice and flat. But yeah, that's uh, I'd say that's probably going to work for me. Let's uh, do a little impromptu brightness intensity test so if it's going to be something sort of like that look at that huh I think that'll uh, I think that'll cut it how neat is that so uh, I'm going to do a little work here but you get the gist of what I'm doing I'm just going to going to trim this to fit trim the wires I'm probably going to desolder the plug off of this LED strip and solder it into these two wires. Uh, polarity is important. I see on the LED strip here the black is negative. Um, I know that from when I, I hooked the uh, multimeter up it would have told me if I had reverse polarity or not. So yeah I'm gonna, uh, gonna trim this up get it to fit in there and let's see how it, uh, how it looks. Alright so I've got this strip trimmed and mounted inside. Uh, we eliminated the uh, the middle screw hole here that just has the strip over it. We'll just use the two outside screws, which will be more than sufficient for this. Maybe I'll put a little bit of a little bit of gorilla tape on there too to help hold it together and seal it up. Um, I've got my wires all tinned and some heat shrink tubing there. And down here I have the connector for the car that I desoldered. I could have just cut it, but I decided to be fancy and, and desolder it from the uh, the LED unit. So we'll just solder these up, being careful for polarity. Now uh, an LED is a light emitting diode, and what a diode does, it lets current only go one way. Uh, I'm not sure if these can be reverse polarity, I doubt it. So the instruction manual said the white wire, the, the black with white wire, one of these is black with white, and then the other is straight black. The black is the ground, and the, uh, the, the one with the white tracer is positive. And then on my sob here, the one with the yellow is positive and the black is negative. So I'm going to go black to black and black with yellow to black with white. So we'll just take a second and hopefully I can solder these up without making myself look like a fool. One. And there's two. I'm going to get my trusty uh, mini torch here. I'll just give this a tug, make sure everything's seated correctly. Shrink the shrink wrap, shrink it, not burn it.
and there it is. All wired up, all installed. All you got to do is just screw it together real quick, and we'll put it on the car and see if this actually works. Hopefully, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive it's going to light up when you hit the brake light. One thing I'm curious about is if it's going to shut off the maintenance minder, that little instrument cluster thing that tells you the brake light's out. Something tells me, after looking at this, uh, this unit here, there's an extra little chip there labeled M7. Oh, maybe we can focus in on it. I think this little chip right here is what actually shuts off the, this is what tells the, uh, the light module that this is working or not. So I don't know if this is going to shut that reminder off, but at least the light will work. So yeah, let me uh, screw this together. It's only going to take a second. I'll probably put a little bit of tape and some glue just to help hold these wires a little better and uh, see how this works. Lovely assistant, step on the brakes. $17 and about 15 minutes of my time. And I have a nice, bright LED third brake light. So yeah, awesome guys, awesome. All right, guys, but does it work with the lamp checker relay? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Now I got to deal with whatever that is or not. Nice. So anyways, guys, until next time, keep it out of the cabbage.